Okay, Mornay, uh, we're going to try and show you how to eliminate the leaks. So normally, what happens is that the leak is not coming from the union, which is this, but instead is leaking from the seal here or the thread which goes inside the radiator. So, first step would be to tighten the uh, valve and drain the radiator, the water from the radiator. So we will shut off the bottom valve, lock shield, and we will shut off the top entry valve. So both of them need to be switched off. Brighton is now gonna disassemble to show you how. Go for it, Brighton. Okay, so we're first removing the white cap in order to reach with a small screwdriver in order to reach the lock shield valve. You use a size 6 Allen key there. So he's now tightening it in order to stop the water flow. Okay, now you will separate the union. Go for it right there. Okay, obviously you use a spanner there, separating the union. And you just push the pipe slightly out and you pull the radiator forward to get past. Obviously you have a pipe connected to this, so you just put it slightly to the side. Okay, remove the next one. Now, so, sorry. Now using a hexagonal key, size 12, it fits exactly into the spot. Obviously you pull the radiator forward so that you can work there freely. Go for it. Now this is removed. Okay. Now normally the reason why it's leaking is because this rubber seal is not sealing properly here. Um, it's normally due to the radiator. So what I do is I apply hemp on this thread, reapply it, and then re-tighten everything. Okay, very similarly on the other side, we've already obviously drained the water. So this valve is completely stopped so that the water from your central heating system does not all pour out from this valve. So the water stopped and we will disconnect here from the union, therefore leaving the central heating water connected, but the radiator is completely drained, preferably in a flat dish. Okay, you can disconnect. So once again, using a spanner, I think it's 27, you loosen that union. Okay, similarly, using the, the, 12, mil, the 12 mil hexagonal key, we unscrew the part that goes into the radiator. Go for it, just remove it. Once again, you can see that here in the past, probably it has been leaking, therefore we've applied some white tape, but I find that hemp works the best. So applying hemp here nicely, and then refitting it, that should eliminate the leak.